Alright, I'm going to teach you how to play Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne. Alright, first thing you gotta do is for intro. That you can either play with um, power chords or single chords. Alright, the single chord way is you put your finger on the last string here on the second fret, then you play it twice, and then you move all the way down to the fifth fret and play that twice. Then you play it open thrice. Then you go back to the second fret and play it again twice. And then this time you go back down to the fifth fret, but you move down a string and play that twice. And then you go back to the last string open. And then you play the second fret again. And if you did that, it should end up sounding like this. And you just gotta work on that and make it go faster. And once you get it fast, it would sound like this. Alright, now there's another way to do the intro. You use power chords. First, you're gonna use the E power chord where you put your first finger on the second fret of the sixth string. Then you move your pinky here and put it on the fourth fret of the next string, then you play those two strings twice. And then you move up and put your finger here three frets down, f three strings down on the second fret and play that string here and the other string so that will sound like and you, and you play that twice along with the rest. And then you go back you just move your finger up a string and play that twice and then go back to E twice. And then you move all the way down four strings to here, put it on the second fret and play twice. And then move down and put your finger here and play that twice. And then you move back and put your fingers there again and play that twice. And then you go to an intro riff. So that together would sound like Once you get faster, it should sound like. And um, you can do whichever one of those you like. But honestly, I like the power chord version better. It just sounds like more full than the other one, than the single chord. All right, now for the intro, this may be a little tough for beginners, but you play it. You go back to the second fret on the E string again. You play that twice, then you move down to the 4th fret on the A string, you play that once, then you move back up again to the 2nd fret of the E string, play that, you move all the way down to the 5th fret on the A string, play that, go back up to the E string on the 2nd fret, play that, then you go to the A string, 4th fret again, play that, and then you go all the way back up to the E string, 2nd fret, play that, and then you move down to the A string again, play the 2nd fret, then play it open on that string, then you move down to the 4th fret on the E string, then you play open on the A string again, and then you go to the 2nd fret on the A string, play that, and then you play it open one more time, then you play the 4th fret on the E string, and then you play the E string open. So that should sound like...